VBA has a fantastic tool called IntelliSense and this is very useful for helping us write our code. So if we look in the Edit menu, you'll see towards the bottom there's a list of five items such as list properties etc. Now by far the most important item here is Complete Word and while it seems quite simple it's very very useful. So we can also see the same five items if we right click in our macro and again you can see Complete Word at the end and this is what we're going to use. Now a shortcut key for Complete Word is Control and Space but for the first few examples we'll just right click so it's obvious what I'm doing. So we're going to type Debug Print so we type D and we select Complete Word. Now this brings up all the words with D and when we type in the second letter E it brings up another list of words and we can see the one we want. So we just press Tab here and this will select the highlighted word. Now we enter dot because we want a property of debug and we can see the two properties listed here. So again we type P and this will highlight the print and if we type space bar this time it is the same as tab except it adds a space after the word. So it adds print and adds a space and this is useful when it's a function. So let's have a look at another example. In this case we're using this workbook so we type in THI and select complete word and straight away it brings us to this workbook and by pressing tab we finish the word. Now to get to the worksheets of the workbook we type WO and you see W is web options, WO brings up worksheets and again we type tab and it finishes the word. Now if we type a parenthesis here it will bring us up the parameters and we'll see more about this later. Now for the moment we're just going to use debug print on this line because sometimes if lines have an error in them the IntelliSense might not work correctly. So this time let's have a look at a variable. Now don't worry about variables until later lessons but it's very useful in showing what it does. If we type TOT here So the first three letters of the variable, only one item starts with TOT, so when we select complete word, it actually completes the word without needing a menu. So let's do this a second time, and this time we'll type TO and we'll press control and space. And you can see how easily it, it completed the word. So you can see that using IntelliSense is very, very efficient. Another useful thing that VBA does is displaying parameters. So let's look at the left function here. So we select the left function and when we press space, VBA will show us the parameters of this function. So we know what arguments to provide. We can see here we provide a string and a long, which is an integer. So after we add the first parameter and type comma, the second parameter then gets highlighted. So this shows us the parameter that we're currently on. And so this is very useful when we're adding new functions. So what we looked at in this lesson was using IntelliSense and you can see how it makes it much easier to write your code, how it makes writing code quicker and how it reduces errors because it provides the correct parameters that you'll need to use.